Hello and welcome to this North Star Planner Overview Learning Byte. I'm Gordon Mosley with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. Let's get started. After successfully completing this learning byte, you will be able to discuss the capabilities of North Star Planner and access the North Star Planner interface. Let's start with an overview of what the North Star Planner is. The North Star Planner allows you to build a very, very, very comprehensive model of your production network. You can feed it configuration files, the output of CLI commands uh, that, that you execute on your devices, and it can use that, it can import that information and use it to build a very detailed model of your network. I'm going to show you the interface and all the, all the nodes, all the links, all the MPLS tunnels, all the demands, all the traffic, the, the more information you feed it, the more comprehensive your network model will be. And then once that model is built, you can use the North Star Planner interface to do many things with it. One of the most popular features is to model failure. What happens to demands that flow across your network when links go down, nodes go down? Or how is traffic rerouted around those failures? Are certain links at that point overutilized while other forwarding paths through your networks are, are, are underutilized? So detailed modeling about what happens to your customers' demands during network failures. Forecast growth. What happens when we, we add demands? We forecast to grow a certain percentage every year. You can simulate the addition of demands tunnels, nodes, links, and forecast the best way to optimize your network for the future. Optimize your existing resources. How do we, how are demands currently forwarded across our network? Are we forwarding traffic in an inefficient manner? Are certain links oversubscribed while other forwarding paths are underutilized? So it's an offline model. Make changes to that model and then understand how those same changes would affect your production network. When you feed it data, it learns extensive information about the hardware components that make up your network, chassis and power supplies and slots and cards and interfaces and serial numbers. And so it's a very extensive abilities to collect and, and display for you hardware inventory for the components that make up your network. But again, the biggest thing I need you to remember about this, this platform is it allows us to build a very detailed model of our production network in, in an offline met fashion. And then I can use this offline model to make changes and, and understand how these same changes would affect my production network. So it's, it's a very popular product for a very large service provider, people that have very large complex networks. And uh, this, help, this, this platform helps them better understand uh, their network. The North Star Planner is part of the North Star Controller uh, platform. When you install the North Star Controller, you can open up a web browser from your administrative workstation. You'll, you'll browse to the IP address of your North Star Controller, and it listens on a non-standard port. So you have to the IP address of the North Star Controller colon 8443, and you'll be presented with a, a login screen, and it's it's split vertically. Half of the left half of the screen is the login screen to launch the North Star controller interface. And on the right hand side of the screen is a launch button to launch the North Star planner. So you would click launch. Now, if you're also using the North Star controller platform from inside of the North Star controller interface, there's a, a, a more options menu in, in, in the top right hand corner of the browser. And you can in that menu select the North Star planner interface. And so those are one of those, either one of those two ways will allow you to launch the North Star Planner interface. This is what it looks like. It's a Java-based interface. It's dynamically provisioned from the North Star controller, so there's no any kind of setup that you have to run through or any file that you have to download. Once you click Launch, the North Star Planner Java interface begins to download and, and, and install on your machine. And, and it opens up, and, and there's really, I guess, three main panels. There's a topology map panel. Where you can actually you know, see displayed for you the nodes and the links that make up your network. You can drag them around, organize them uh, in whatever way that makes sense with you. You can specify links to be assigned to the nodes, labels that display on the links, interface names and metrics or SIDs, uh, very flexible options in how you can configure your network to be displayed. You can specify customized images, country maps, 
uh, so you can you know really get a good visual of your network. There's also a console pane where as you select different components in these other panels, you'll, you'll see information about them uh, displayed in the console pane. There's a network info panel, and, and this is where a lot of the network information is going to be presented to you. There, it's displayed in a series of tabs. There's a summary tab. There's a nodes where I, I see information. You know, it's a list of all my nodes and a lot of information about their characteristics, links, interfaces, demands, tunnels. There, there's extra tabs. These are the standard tabs that you'll see when, when you open up the interface. There's a plus symbol here where you can display things such as sites and shared risk link groups. And, and there's a, a range of additional tabs that can be presented to you. And this is where you, you see a lot of detailed information about your network. Remember, this is a model. This is a snapshot, essentially, of your production network. And, and the idea is then to use this sandbox to, to add links, add demands. Let's simulate failure, and I can generate data that lets me know how my production network would perform under the same circumstances, right? So that's, the, that's how you access the interface, and that's basically a, it's an overview of what you'd see uh, once you have the, admin, uh, the interface actually launched and loaded on, on, your, on your administrative workstation. I'm going to connect to uh, a, a node now that actually has this client installed and give you a, a little bit more of a rundown on what the interface looks like. All right, this is my administrative workstation where I have the North Star Planner interface actually launched. When you launch the client, it's going to ask you actually which network model would you like it to load into this interface. And, and this is where you would point it to the network model that you built for your production network. There are also some sample networks that are actually included with the product. This is, this is a sample MPLS network. It's called the MPLS Fish Network, and it is a network model that's already pre-built. It already has nodes and links and tunnels and demands, and it's a great network model really to learn the features and capabilities of the product. And as I was mentioning earlier, here's, here's a list of the nodes uh, in my network. You know, the different icons represent different vendors. I can select a node and modify its properties and, and change attributes. Now, again, what I'm trying, this is a model. So my goal would be, well, we're going to make a particular change to a node or to a link um, or to a demand in my production network. So let me go to the model first, make that same change, and then analyze how that change affects, affects the model. So I'll have a better feel for how that change would affect production, right? And so uh, that's the huge benefit of this platform. We talked about, you know, simulating failure. There's extensive, extensive failure simulation scenarios that can be run against this model to let you know how those same, you know, failure scenarios would affect your production network. Again, links, uh, inf detailed information about links. I can add links, add nodes, interfaces, demands. You know, these are all the traffic flows that have been learned and discovered from my production network here in this model. I can add demands, reroute demands. Uh, so it's a very flexible uh, sandbox. Here's the label switch paths that have been discovered on the service provider WAN network. And again, there's additional tabs that can be used to sort and analyze and discover additional information about your network. So that, that's kind of an overview. That's the main thing I wanted to get you to see during this learning byte was to understand that the North Star Planner allows you to build an offline model of your production network. Then I can use the North Star Planner client interface to analyze that network model and perform things, you know, such as you know, failure simulation and forecasting growth and optimization of, of traffic forwarding across my network, hardware inventory, if anything that you would like to perform on your production network, I can perform here first, right, is the idea. In this learning byte, we discussed the capabilities of the North Star Planner, and we were able to actually take a look and access the North Star Planner interface. Thank you very much. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.